you are going to do is uh, set up your brine shrimp lab. So it's the effective salt concentration on the hatch rate of Artemia salina. Okay, so there's a little quick guide sheet, all these little monstrous things. These are the little brine shrimp there. So brine shrimp um, are technically not a true shrimp. Right? They uh, are a type of fairy shrimp. They have a cryptobiotic state that they can go into as a cyst. Uh, and that's what you have in these little tubes. So you have this tiny little tube with this little looks like brown grains in it. Um, and that that's the cysts. So they need water to activate uh, and then eventually the uh, cyst will sort of swell up and then the little shrimp will hatch out right of it. So what you're gonna be doing is setting up a bunch of containers with water and then salt added to them. So they're called Artemia salina or brine shrimp. Um, in that they can survive in a variety of different salt water conditions from very low salt levels typically to very high salt levels but there are certain levels of salt in the water that help them both to hatch out and to survive after immediately hatching out and so that's kind of what you're going to do is then mon monitor uh, how quickly they hatch out at different concentrations and then how many seem to be swimming around a few days after they had hatched out. So what you're gonna need are, are your little rack, uh, three containers, some water. This is just salt, just table salt, right? It says sodium chloride on it, but it didn't come from a chemical company. It just came from a grocery store, just a big Morton salt right, container. So that's all you really need. You need your little measuring cup, your, or your spoon, sorry, to, to measure them the material. So that's what we're gonna do first is set up the water. So each of these containers gets 50 milliliters of water. So pour the water in up to the 50 mil line. All right, just using I would recommend using bottled water for this as opposed to tap water. The tap water, depending on where it comes from, if you have a well, it's probably fine. If it's coming from uh, city water, it could be treated and the chlorine or other chemicals in it could be harmful to the shrimp or to their hatching success. So I, I would prefer you didn't use that. Now you're gonna add salt. So one of them isn't gonna get any salt added to the. One of them is gonna get a quarter teaspoon and the other is going to get a three quarter teaspoon. So put one in that one and this one will get one, two, three. Okay. The ones that you added the salt to make sure you dissolve them. So this is one of the things that could affect other experiments as well. If you don't fully dissolve the sugar or the salt or other things that you're adding to your solutions, um, it's going to negatively impact your results because uh, near the bottom of the container, it'll be say very salty or very sugary, at the top, it won't, all right? And so if you're just then using a sample of something from the top, it's gonna be very different than what's at the bottom and it's not gonna work out. Same with the organisms, if you drop them in here, they're gonna sink down here to the bottom and experience a different environment. So make sure you mix it up well and everything is dissolved before you move on to another step. Next thing is do you should label these, okay? So this I'm labeling this one with a three quarters teaspoon. This one with a one quarter. Put my cap back on so I'm gonna spill it. And this is the zero. So this is just pure water, uh, no salt added to that at all. So now you're going to add your brine shrimp cysts. So the best way to do this is um, use your little measuring cup and you're just gonna kind of dust the bottom. The thing is what's gonna happen for most of you, you're, you're going to add way too many cysts, most of you will. So do this very cautiously. Add from here into the cup 
sorry, into your uh, spoon. Kind of shake it until it looks like the bottom is covered. You don't want to cover it with any levels or layers. You want it just like like almost like one layer of cysts, just and just enough to cover the bottom, and that's all. If you have a lot more than that, it's going to be way too many. Also, this will help you keep it consistent in between them because you're going to be counting them. So if for one of these you add twice as much than the other, obviously the result is going to be different. You potentially could have a lot more, even though it has nothing to do with the treatment, just because you added more. So make sure you add the same amount to all of them, or at least as close as possible. Okay, so if you have to put this down, make sure you recap it or it'll spill it. Okay, so I'm going to convert that, mix them. Mix these. And then the last one here. So it shouldn't take very long for you to set this slab up. Um, you just get your containers, the water, find your brine shrimp. Definitely more in this one. Okay. So I have the same or roughly the same amount to each of those. Ideally, you'd weigh it out on a digital balance. You'd know you have a much more accurate amount to them. And that's pretty much it. Ideally put it near lights where it's going to get a lot of light, so like constant light during this time. Having the caps on um, will just help you spill it, but I would recommend maybe just loosening the caps a little. Before you handle them again, you need to remember that the caps are loose or else you're going to like grab it to like shake it up and, and liquid's going to come out of it and you're going to spill it. So you're going to just let these sit for 24 hours. Okay, so 24 hours later, what you're gonna do is get this little um, petri dish we have here. Open it up. Get your uh, pipette that's up to the one milliliter mark, and then you're going to make sure you evenly distribute the solution like this. Then go ahead and take out one milliliter. put it in your dish and I'm gonna go grab the camera right now there's not gonna be anything swimming around it's just gonna be the cysts kind of floating around but what you're gonna see then and I'll have a separate video I'll film them so you can see here those are it's kind of a dirty, okay. I, I spilled some on the paper, so it's kind of, uh, anyway. Just looking at the water area here, okay? So right there, you're seeing those are the cysts. You can see they're really large. You don't really need your microscope for this. I will take a picture under the microscope of what they look like up close, and you can do that uh, yourself once they start to hatch out. But you can see right here, I can take a photo of that and then you'd be able to count how many are eggs and then the same thing when you see them swimming around um, you'll just be able to take a photograph count how many are swimming around and how many are cysts and then that will be um, the way that you'll record the data you're going to record the data at sorry for the fast movement here um, so 24 48 and 72 hours okay and that's it and then you're going to report you know how many uh, of them are um, total cysts, you know, in there.